Hey guys, today we are going to talk about Sabaton song Rorker's Drift from their album The Last Stand and uh, indeed this one was hell of a last stand so the battle of Rorker's Drift was fought on 22nd and 23 January 1879 during the Anglo Zulu War. Rorker's Drift was a mission, a small Swedish church and a hospital. It followed a disastrous battle for the British army. The name was East Sandalwana, where the British army was defeated by the Zulu nation. And when I say defeated, it's almost completely destroyed. It's a massacre. And Rocky's Drift is a few miles behind the battlefield. People there can hear the sound of a battle. They assume that it's business as usual for the British army and that they are going to win. But suddenly a rider arrives, is under shock, and he keeps on repeating, the camp is taken by the Zulus, the camp is taken by the Zulus. And some of her follow with the same message. A few hours later, Around 140 British soldiers who were there, including 35 sick and wounded, were attacked by almost four to five thousand Zulu warriors. They repelled all the assaults after a fierce battle that lasted almost 12 hours. And this showcased the new overpower of the new technological innovations in warfare. But for the moment, let's go. I think so, by the way, this footage is from the Zulu movie, uh, movie about this war from the 60s. <laughs> News that came the morning told that the beat was at his lane. Chance for peace and justice gone, and the thoughts have been in vain. Imagine you're one of the British soldiers, half of your comrades are wounded or sick. Uh, you, you see this enormous mass of Zulu soldiers, the ones with the white shield or elite warriors. Uh, you, you must say, oh, okay, now I'm screwed. So the English were looking on Zulu land with envy because the region is very rich in mineral resources, including diamonds. So when Sabaton says that a prince has been offended, the UK sent a very, very rude ultimatum to the Zulu king who took it as an insult and then war was declared. At the Battle of Isandalwana, the British army has been completely crushed by the Zulus who are using what's called the horns of the buffalo. So uh, when you have the, the front who's taking the bear of the British line, the two horns are maneuvering to outflank the British. This tactic will allow the Zulus to inflict one of the most crushing defeats the British army ever suffered. And I don't know, but this might be the biggest military fiasco the British army ever encountered. Defenders barricaded themselves in two barracks around Rorker's Drift mission, including the hospital, and they knew that it was only a matter of life or death. The Toulouse will show no mercy and they would take no prisoners. So actually, yes, when they say there's no surrender, there's no surrender. <laughs> <laughs> 
So here you see the Brits are using rifles. It's called a Henry Martini rifle. It's very accurate. It's a breech loaded rifle and with its long bayonet, they have an advantage in reach over the Zulus. Uh, on the other side, uh, the Zulus uh, have a very structured army into regiments according to experience and prestige. Only the most Prestigious were allowed to marry and to bear the sacred white shield into battle. They were cunning, courageous, light infantry, they used spears and a few muskets. <laughs> So this is the moment, I guess, that where the British army have to withdraw into the hospital and here is the real last stand. The Zulu will try everything to take it. They will try to put it into fire using their sagay and launching it with fire on the roof. But the British will keep on resisting over and over. Just to let you know one example, they have 20 thousand bullets and they will almost shoot every one of them. <laughs> And indeed, the British officer must be wondering himself, wait, we won that? How? So yes, they won indeed. At some point, the Zulus are exhausted. They are hungry because they don't have the logistics to uh, sustain a long assault. Their morale starts to waver as the Brits won't give up because they have no other choice so the Zulus decide to give up they've lost 351 men and an over 1100 are wounded whereas the Brits have lost 17 men and they have 14 wounded the battles of Rockers Drift saw the Zulu defeated by the English it enabled the UK to regain some prestige, um, or I would say to save the face after the Isandalwana uh, disaster and to resume their campaign to dominate the Zulu Kingdom and the whole of Southern Africa. And at the end, they will prevail. 
So, uh, okay, this uh, song was once again excellent. Don't hesitate to let me know if you would like me to cover another Sabaton song in particular. And as always, thank you for watching and see you very soon. Bye.